How's that? Today's Tuesday, May 30th. I'm not doing my openers today. I'm about five days out from the meet on June 4th. I did my openers yesterday, so Steve wanted me to actually lift on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week, so it would have been like openers, last warm-up, second to last warm-up, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, respectively. But it's my birthday tomorrow, and Wednesdays for the last year have been my long days, and I absolutely hate it. So I'm not trying to work extra hard tomorrow. So I asked him if I could move Wednesday's stuff to today. And he initially said, yeah, do like powers at 70 and 90. And I told him, is it all right if I do like last warm up? Because I felt like I was getting somewhere yesterday with my snatches. And if you watched the video yesterday, they looked a lot different than Friday. So I wanted to give myself an opportunity to practice what I was learning, essentially, like relearning with the heavier weights today rather than doing the powers. So, yeah, he, he came to a compromise. He was like, how about we do 85 and then 115, which would be second to last warm-ups if I warm up that way. Usually I go 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then from 80, I usually go to 90 if I don't have... Um, I guess if I don't have time or if I if I feel like I'm ready to go from 80 to 90, then I will always do that because I'm always of the opinion that the less reps I do, like the more reps I can save, the better my performance is at the top weight, which is simply not true always. It's just like, for me, it's like, that is what gives me confidence. Whereas usually it's a somewhere in between, like half and half, where if I do the extra sets, for the warm-up, I'm a little bit more primed to perform well. And that means that I will be able to lift heavier at the end of the day, even though I had expended that extra energy for those reps. But, yeah. So today, I'm going to 85. My snatches today were, were pretty solid again. I'm generally pretty happy with how they felt. I think that there were a couple that I wanted to reattempt, and so I did. So at 80, I did 80 for two singles rather than one and then go straight to 85. And then I actually redid 85 for a fourth rep because I just wasn't happy. I, I don't know. I, I felt like when I walked in today, because I knew it was lighter, I had it in my head that I would go 85 for five singles. But um, I kept it tame. So this is the reason why I did 80 again, that little step forward. Because even though I'm having that sort of patient in my pool, patience in my pool, it sometimes ends up a little bit further forward than I would have liked and, and a little bit further than I, I'm used to. This one is actually the exact opposite. I was on my heels and you can see kind of at the bottom me maneuvering the weight around that. This was my first set, first rep I guess you could say. A little bit for forward again and I think in general I, I mentioned it earlier I, I'm pretty happy with how it felt look at that kind of snappiness under the bar it's due to re really really just what Juwan said just pull uh, get to extension and let that bar go where it's gonna go and then get under the bar same thing on this one here it looked like I didn't actually get to a good extension there, but as far as bar path goes, that was pretty solid. So, happy with that one. And then I was like, alright, yeah, I'm going to do that, that, redo the first one, essentially. And definitely better. I don't think it was as good as the second or the third rep. But, yeah. Moved on to my clean jerks afterwards. Same idea here. I don't know what the hell happened there. I hit my knee, and then I was like, uh-oh. So I ended up just doing a pull, a really, really odd pull. I think the big thing that I was dealing with yesterday was my legs were not very strong. It felt like I couldn't push well. And it felt like they were not there at some extent. Like I felt like I couldn't feel my legs, which is 
out of context is crazy to say and crazy to hear. But today was not that. I think it felt like I was still a little bit weaker than I normally am for the jerk. But it was better than yesterday for sure. I think my cleans are solid as well. It is 10 kilos lighter than yesterday's. Yesterday I did 125 for my quote unquote open airs, right? But I think I stayed a lot more connected to the bar on these reps for today. Here's my last one before my top sets here, 110. Yeah. I'm not super sure what is causing that sort of disconnect between my dip and I guess like the feeling in my legs because the squat clean or the full clean on these is easy. So I don't think that I would be gassed to the point where I can't actually push up my legs. And it feels silly to talk about this, but I you know. It is what happened today. Look at those cleans. Those cleans are hella good. It can always be better, of course. But it's just one of those things that I, I think about all the time. It's just like... I can always be better in small aspects, but I think overarching theme, like large picture, I'm lifting better than I have been in a long time. So that is always a positive. Cool, cool, cool. After my clean jerks today, I moved into back squats. Yesterday, I did front squats. So yesterday, I went to three triples at 130. Today, we're going to three triples at 140 on the back. I warmed up pretty quickly, 160, and then 100, essentially, in, I don't know, like a minute. And then I went to 140 straight from here. I was a little bit worried about my adductors because... Last Wednesday when I did those powers and then the back squats, it did not feel good. It felt terrible, to be honest. So I'm happy with the absence of pain. One of these sets is hard. I think the last one is the hard one. But aside from that, like they, this is moving pretty good. I think my positioning is pretty solid too. And then, you know, like, when I'm thinking about, like, all of the things I've been dealing with lately, is my lower back, kind of that twisting issue, side bending, my adductors, and then actually my upper back. My upper back has not been an issue lately, so I am super happy with that. I don't know if it's going to pop up on the meet day if I go heavy, you know, if I end up having to clean and jerk 140, or getting the opportunity to, I should say, getting the opportunity to clean, one four, clean and jerk 140. I don't know if that's going to hurt my upper back. It might, but 130 last Friday didn't hurt it. Uh, I mean, it, it hurt it because it was heavy, but it didn't hurt it in a way that was worrisome. Didn't feel like I got shot in the back like I normally do. And, you know, that's something I've been dealing with for forever. And it's it's great to feel like I don't have to worry about that nearly as much because of the stretching that I'm doing outside of the gym. But finish off with some dips, dumbbell overhead walks, and then some back extensions. These are usually the accessories that I would have done on the Wednesday of like a back squat and overhead press day. But because I'm taking tomorrow off and then Thursday off, I'm going to just throw these on here because it doesn't necessarily affect me on Friday. And then Friday, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what happens on Friday. But yeah, that's the end of the workout today. I'm super excited for Sunday. I weigh 160 Point six today, which is exactly 73 kilos. Um, but yeah, oh, look at this. For that, you should uh, comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Shoots.